So I recently made this new tutorial, but wait, this isn't a promotional video. This is actually the opposite. So there's a section when I'm making these curves or cables that you see coming out of the ends. Actually, this screenshot is better. And I used my own personal add-on called Curve Basher, which isn't free. It's a paid add-on. And it's really cool. If you don't have it, I would suggest taking a look at it. However, if you've been interested in this tutorial, but you felt like you wouldn't be able to follow along just because you don't have the add-on, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to make this in Vanilla Blender. So let's go over there. I have the, the final file right here. As you can see, this is what I made with Curve Basher. So there's just tons of curves. Let's hide this for a second. Lots of curves that I just generated with some primitives and used the wire generator tool. Didn't take that long. And then I just applied uh, some kit bash on top using the browser. If you're unfamiliar with it, you basically select the curves, press J, and then just scroll through a bunch of included presets. So let's leave this the way it was. But like I said, let's go over how you can do something like that without my add-on. So I'm going to do something very quick and simple. It's not going to look as nice, but just to uh, show you that it can be done. So I have a plane right here. I have a hockey for sub uh, flat subdivision, so I'm just going to use that. Uh, I basically just selected all the faces and use uh, this button, but with hockey. So this is a little too much. I think this is okay. So I'm going to go into edit mode, press X, delete only edges and faces. So it looks like everything is gone, but if we go into vertex mode, you'll see that we still have our vertices here. I know they're kind of small, I just like uh, keeping my vertices small. And now I'm going to extrude and maybe rotate it a bit. Oh, what? There we go. So normally I would use control and right click and that also extrudes. But when it comes to vertices, these don't seem to uh, rotate. So it just doesn't look as good. I'm just extruding normally and uh, rotating it like this. Do that. Okay. So <laughs> this doesn't look quite as nice yet, but we'll get there, I promise. So the next thing we want to do is just go back into object mode and convert all of these uh, basically edges into curves. So right click, convert to curve. That's all we have to do. Not just kidding, there's a still a lot more. As you can see, it looks exactly the same. It looks like nothing changed at all. But these are actually curves now. So back into edit mode, right click, set spline type, bezier. So these are now uh, curves with bezier handles, but they're not curved yet. So I need to... Uh, do one more thing, set the handle type to automatic. And now we have some curves. So obviously it doesn't look the same, but don't worry too much about that. We'll make it look nicer in a second. So now that these are curves, we can go to our curve settings, geometry, and under bevel, we can give it some depth. You might want to hold down shift to, to make this value slide a little bit more slowly, something like that. Right click, shade smooth. So we're getting there. Beautiful. So another thing we can do is maybe give it a different profile because right now it's just using the round profile. But if you take a look at my curves over here, it's more triangular. So let's do that. And I'm going to use a, a cylinder because that goes all the way down to three sides. Perfect. And I'm going to select this face, control I, X, delete, all of these those other faces and in object mode right click set origin geometry to origin so just a, a triangle that uh, has its origin perfectly centered and you know what let's bevel the corners as well like this and we can now convert this to a curve as well make sure you do this in object mode there we go and it automatically just gives you like the edges without the inside face which is great and now that this is a curve, we can use it as a profile. So I'm going to select our original curves, go over here under our bevel, select object, and now this profile. Ooh, and all we have to do is scale it. I think this is kind of good. Let's go back to a uh, flat shading. Wait. Yeah, I don't think we can uh, smooth shade with normals just yet. I think it needs to be geometry for that. So if, maybe there's a modifier for it. I don't know. But we're not done yet. It looks super even because we just extruded that plane at the start. But I want to show you something else. So I don't know if I need to be in edit mode for this. But I'm just going to go into edit mode, select all of my curve points. 
and I think there's something, oh yeah, I already used it. It's called uh, Curve Transform Randomize. And just hit that, and there's a lot of settings we can play with. I'm actually thinking of copying some of these for uh, the Curve Bash add-on. Take a look at that. I have no idea what these settings do, but it looks cool. Now we have something that's a little bit more similar to that. So um, just to finalize, I think, what else can we do? Oh yeah, let's convert it back to a mesh so we can do some more modeling. So convert to mesh, and you can actually click on keep original, and that will keep your curves intact. So let's hide it. And now I'm just gonna work on this mesh that I just created. So it's all geometry now. And I am going to select a single edge on some of these, not all of them, because I'm a little lazy, but just some of these. Oops, there we go. And I have a hotkey for selecting the uh, edge ring. And then I have a hotkey for selecting the edge loops, which is not working. So uh, anytime you want to select something, just it's somewhere in this menu, select loops, edge loops. There we go. Uh, bevel like this. Extrude, Alt S, push it in. It's not that pretty, but I don't think anyone's going to look that closely. And I'm not really going to do a lot of modeling here. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I think we can uh, use our smooth shade with some normals here. Uh, smooth normals. There we go. So again, I'm not going to make it look exactly like this, but I just wanted to show you that you can follow along with that tutorial even if you don't have the add-on. It's just going to take a lot longer, obviously, but it can be done. Now that Vanilla Blender is out of the way, we can do some self-promotion. So do check out the add-on because it allows you to control all of those curves with primitives, for example. Scale it up, rotate them, let's move this over here, and maybe replace all of these with a completely different preset. Beautiful.